Alright, what's going down ladies and gents, it's your boy HT Jammers back with another Friday evening commentary on Street Fighter Cross Tekken gameplay. The only fan game up, ah, the only fan game upload until Persona 4 comes out, wink wink. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But yeah, I haven't done one of these in uh, quite a while, so um, I thought this time around I should get one out for you guys. I think it's been about three, four weeks? I, I don't know, it's been a while. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll leave uh, last episode in the description as well. I'm going to leave a bunch of links in there. But I believe it is uh, episode five or six. I, you know, every time I do one, I can't remember the previous episode. But I believe, I'll check once this video is finished rendering and I can sort out the title. But I technically believe it's level, uh, level five. I mean, it's episode five. <laughs> but um, yeah, so uh, I'll leave last episode in the description if you want to check it out if you missed it. I'll also leave... Um, uh, recently, some of you guys may know, follow me on Twitter, and if you noticed one of my videos the other day, I mentioned it as well. Uh, I recently entered a tournament uh, on the 14th of April, so about 10, 12 days ago, yeah, and I placed a uh, top three, which was a very good finish for me. I felt I should have came second, but unfortunately I didn't, so uh, top three is still a good spot, or third place is a good spot for a tournament. Uh, a local one anyway, because, you know, I don't really go to my tournaments or anything, and uh, yeah, it just helps you gain that tournament experience. So uh, if you want to check those matches out, I will... Um, I'll get the link to the matches or the video that um, that I was on in the tournament and I will leave timestamps for each match if you want to check that out. Uh, also I'll leave my Twitter in there so you can follow me on Twitter and keep up to date with all my latest complaining and uploading videos and whatever it is I'm doing on the day or whatever it is I'm doing on Twitter. And uh, is there anything else I would like to mention? Oh okay, last thing as well. Um, for the next two Street Fighters Tekken videos I will be uploading first to five sets with a one guy I met at a tournament and uh, we had a first to five set and I will upload that for him next week because he definitely wants to see it. and I think you guys would like how he plays because he's got a very, a very interesting team. Uh, he uses Bison and I don't play a lot of Bison so that was a very good that was, ah, that was a very interesting set and I also got a first to five set against the RNK boys so if you guys have previously seen me encounter um, some of the RNK team, the French uh, clan that play fighting games, uh, I had a set with them just last night. It went pretty well, it was very interesting, trust me, it was very tense as well, and I'll upload that at some point next week as well. And is there anything else I'd like to mention, notices, updates, um, not on top of my head, I think that is all um, there is to mention. But uh, apology, if I would like to apologise for not uploading, uh, you know, Friday evening commentary for like the past three consecutive weeks or so, it's, um, I'm getting closer to finishing my university, my first year of university to the end of the year and you know deadlines coming up, I had a deadline on Thursday and it was very uh, very tense and um, you know I had to get the, it was an essay, a really boring, boring essay to write and I had to get it sweat out and finish anything. And weeks before that I was just sorting out new work because uh, I've been really slow this year with doing work or educational work for university so I have to pick up the pace, it, it happens with everybody, it happens with everybody every now and then. But um, I think that's it, let me just move straight off of that, but um, what did I want to talk about today? I, I was thinking, you know, because every time I don't do a commentary or a Friday in commentary for you guys over Street Fighter Cross Tech gameplay, um, I tend to, like, t I, have a ten I tend to have a long time, a long period of time thinking, what should I talk about? And, you know, I get called these names, oh, you, you guys are going to be very familiar with these names, I get called these names very frequently, everybody does once in a while. And I thought, why don't we talk about that? You know, let's just get one thing clarified here, because not even I'm sure the definition of these words. Before I get onto that, you know, I completely forgot to mention that um, you guys, if you haven't realized by now, you're watching Cammy and Lily matches because um, uh, people do like the diversity of my characters, or uh, the teams I've been using. So my Nina, Oscar, my Julian, Lars, uh, my Cammy, Lily. The main people, or mainly people, want to see the poison of Julia. That's what they came for, that's what they subscribed for, and I thought, you know, you know, since I'm getting a little bit bigger, a bigger audience every day, uh, some people want to see a uh, switch up variety of characters. I've mentioned this before, but you know, I will, I, I um, from now on, I'll mix it back and forth. So one week it'll probably be all the Poison and Julia matches, the other week it might be all my other teams, or it might be a mixture of both. Just letting you guys know, so you know, everybody gets a bit of all the teams I use, if that makes any sense. Yeah, it probably does. But yeah, so the words you guys are familiar with that I was mentioning just a minute ago, that everybody gets called. I know everybody watching this video, whether you like it or not, or I'm probably, you know, I'm going to tap into your little memory banks right now. You have probably been called a scrub. You either been called a fraud or uh, what was the other word? Or you either been, someone has called you salty. Yes, you know, the three words, scrubs, 
uh, frauds and saltiness. You know, those three words. I want to clarify. I'm going to talk about them three words because everybody in the fine game, everybody in the FGC has been called that or has accused someone of being one of those three words, including myself holding my hands up high. I'm guilty. Everyone's guilty. You know, you are guilty. Even if you just look at the screen and saying, what is this guy talking about? You are guilty. Now, let me just get on with it without um, chanting crap in your ears. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so... When I, when I started playing fighting games, I, I never came across these words. I used to come across words like, um, you know, you spammer, you turtler, you know, you, you turtle 24-7, stuff like that. You know, the, the basic words where you, you don't understand the definition, but you kind of get the gist of what you're doing. Because, you know, a turtle likes to sit in a shell, so turtling, you will sit back. Spamming, you know, you, you keep doing the same move. It's like spam mail. They'll keep spamming you with, the, uh, you know, companies or whatever, Amazon, eBay, whatever. They'll keep spamming you with these unnecessary emails. That's exactly how the terms, well, how I see it. That's how the terms jumped over from regular things in life to the fine game community. And it can be applied just the same way, the same way as uh, scrubs, frauds, and saltiness. But, um, Technically, I, I, the first time I encountered the word scrub was, it, I didn't get called a scrub. Uh, you know, some of my friends were playing fighting games and they were just like, this guy's a scrub. And I'm like, what the hell? It's like, <laughs> when I heard the word scrub, I was thinking, do you mean like scrub the bath or something? That, that's, what, that's what I thought. But then they go, nah, nah, a scrub is a guy who plays so cheap and does just cheap tactics, cheap moves. But then over the time I've heard this word, the definition keeps changing, so my mind kind of a bit hazy, it's a bit confused, and I don't know what a scrub is now. But it's, I don't like to call people, this is how I see it, right? Yes, sometimes you, you blurt out the random words you heard before, but it's not very good to call someone or call people names if you don't know the definition to the, uh, to the word. So I tend not to call people a scrub because I have no idea what a scrub is. Okay. You can visually see what a scrub is, but, you know, unless I know the actual definition, unless there's an actual, like, you know, fighting game community dictionary that says a scrub is this, or I can go on Google right now and find out definition, uh, definition of a scrub in fighting game stuff, I probably could, I'll probably do it after this um, commentary, but, um, the, my, my point is, it's like, I've, I've heard different meanings of the word scrub, so I tend, I, I'm still confused as to what it means, so I prefer not to call people scrub, even if, even if you know someone is playing so cheaply, I have in the past, we all have, once once or twice, whatever, you've all done it, even if you're a professional tournament player now, you've played like a scrub once in your life before you got to the rank you are now. Um, you just, you know someone plays like a scrub, but I'm not sure, you know, because th th there's a different meaning every time, and then you just don't know which one it was. So, you know, in the comment section, guys, if you know what a scrub is, or what is a scrub in your opinion, because I think I'm going to get, like, a few different reasons, so let me know in the comment section what you guys think a scrub is. Now, in terms of a fraud, well, whenever I hear the word fraud, I think of bank fraud, which that has got completely nothing to do with what a fraud is in Fang Game Community. Now, there is one guy, a tournament player I do know, I've played him a couple times, I'm not going to mention any names. He keeps calling people, if you beat him, he will call you a fraud. If you do something stupid, he'll call you a fraud. Um, you know, if you tap buttons, he'll call you a fraud. So, <laughs> you know, three different, three different things, but you, you're going to be called the same name either way. And uh, I just find it absolutely baffling. Now, of course, yeah, a fraud, in, in my opinion, or not even my opinion, how I see a fraud, you know, it's a wannabe. So if I see, uh, let me give an example. Okay, so if I see Seth, LOL, you know, use uh, Kuma and Law, you know, and I, I just thought, hey, you know, that team looks good. I'm going to copy exactly how Seth, LOL, LOL plays. Now, if I continue to act like that and then impersonate his name, you know, in a way, that's a total fanboy, but at the same time, if you play cheaply with a guy's team who's professional with this team, you know, that's, that's classed as a fraud. This is how I see it. I may have got this wrong, but this is the persona of the definition of a word fraud in the fan game community has been or has been displayed to me. Somebody who uses the exact same team as you, but just uses them in a really quote unquote cheap way, which this is another thing that gets to my head as well. What is cheap in a fighting game? Because there are tactics you do in a fighting game, so uh, I can't I can't give an example for you guys to picture right now. But you know, say um, you trapped your your opponent in the corner, and there was a certain block string you could do to uh, keep them in the corner. And the only way for them to get out is uh, to mash or whatever. You know, that's that's mash or do whatever. Now, in some ways, that's professional because you're applying pressure. In other ways, that's cheap. So you know, it, I, I'm kind of borderline in the middle. What is that kind of play? You know. 
I play like a faggot sometimes. I'm going to admit that I hold my hands up high. Guys, half the, half, some of these matches you see me on YouTube, you may not think I'm playing like a faggot, but I actually am. <laughs> this is just my way of playing the game. But uh, not, not playing a faggot in general, but it's just my way of saying, hey, you know, uh, I'm not bothered to play the game half the time. And, uh, you know, it just kind of... People see it, or they see it the wrong way, or how I play the game, but you can't really convey how you're playing the game. You can't really convey your playstyle over the internet, because, you know, you both are hiding behind screens, and you don't know what the other person's thinking, reacting, you know, stuff like that. Which then moves on to the other word, saltiness. Now, we're all very, very familiar with this word, saltiness. Now, when I, when I, when I came across the word salty, like, you know, oh, HG Germans, you're salty. But this was ages ago. This is about four, five. You know, I'm not sure how long the word came around ago. But um, <laughs> technically, um, when my friends called me that word, they're like, "Oh, why are you so salty?" I start. I, I actually started laughing. I'm like, "What is this? Some kind of joke?" I'm like, "Because if you want table salt, table salt's right downstairs. You know, you can go get the salt and you can put it on your hands and you know, wipe your across your head. You know, stuff like that." But then they go, "No, no, salty basically means you're fed up, you're frustrated, you're, you're." <laughs> I just want to say you're salty. <laughs> But, um, you know, saying you're salty is just another word for people who don't know, but everyone should know by now. Salty is just another word for being you're frustrated at you, you know, made mistakes or you rage at the game. There you go, that's the word I'm looking for. You're raging at a game or a fight that you know you could have won or combos you dropped or, you know, your opponent was doing something really, really annoying and a, a really faggot move and you're just like, why so salty? So, it, it, these, these words, they're interesting because, you know, it's like, this is, this is what I like about communities, you know, they, they develop their own sort of language that you can talk within or with one another and everybody will understand it. The only problem is I can't, I don't fully understand the fighting game language. But you know, these three words I've mentioned, scrub, frauds and salty, which I'll continue with in a second. You know, they're, they're, they're funny words, I won't lie. <laughs> they're funny words, but um, you know, how, how they've been developed and how their the meaning has been portrayed over these past, um, shall I say, two, three years. Uh, I think that's how long I've heard the word for past two, three, yeah, I think so. But, um, you know, the definitions keep changing, some people misunderstand it, some people don't, some people get the gist of it, you know, stuff like that. But I've got my head wrapped around it, and I like to call people salty now, but um, I like to call them online, not not through YouTube and stuff, because, um, you know, I don't want to cause unnecessary arguments uh, over YouTube sometimes. So, you know, sometimes it's best, guys, just a word of advice, guys. Even if you know someone's playing bad or someone wants to start an unnecessary argument, you know, stuff like that, I would say unless you can really back up your point, don't bother. Just unnecessary arguments are unwanted. I've been down that road and the internet is a dangerous place and people can attack you. And I mean verbally attack you, not me not physically because you're all hiding behind screens like I said. But um, you know, this is due to reasons being salty, being accused of a scrub, being accused of a fraud. I hate being accused of a fraud really because um, you know, I don't see a lot of... Um, I don't see a lot of poison users online, as you all know. No, probably the majority of you don't see a lot of poison users online. Yet I still get called a fraud for some deranged reason. It's like, I don't know, that, that frustrates me more than actually being called a fraud for playing like a faggot in a match, saying you poison fraud. I'm like, does that really make any sense? You don't see any poisons. I'm like, the only poison, a decent poison, a half decent poison you see online, you still call me a fraud. People call me so, yeah, hell yeah, hey. Let me say this, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you this now. When you play me in a fighting game and I lose, just picture, you know, picture the guy raging. Yeah, that's me. I hate losing. Everyone hates losing. I am one of the saltiest guys you'll ever see. Except when I'm, uh, when I'm with people in person, I tend to hide the emotions back because if I throw my control on the floor, which I raise my hand up high, I don't. I've only done it once. But um, you know, it just it puts off this bad persona about you. If you if you act salty 24/7 in front of the majority of people, then it just puts that bad persona. It's just, it just goes round, world will go round and say, oh, that's that salty guy who gets mad at everything, like, you know, if he doesn't block a certain block string or anything, um, then yeah, he gets mad, he starts emotionally conveying his, uh, you know, his rage. I don't know how to word this, really. But, um, you know, it, it just, it's just really bad to show you're raging sometimes, okay, because when I was at the tournament the other day, um, that if you, when you guys check out the match, I, uh, I lost, like, I should have came second to, um, I was very salty the first game because, you know, the game just gave the timeout victory to my opponent instead of me, and that made me just do idiotic moves uh, in the other game. But, um, that, 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 it, it happens, it happens. When stuff doesn't go your way in a fighting game, you tend to get salty. You tend to start calling people frauds, scrubs, or whatever name will verbally come out of your mouth. I'm not gonna swear now because I'm partnered, so I have to be very careful. I have to be very careful what I say. 
So um, <laughs> it, it just it just uh, those those three words they came over time, and I thought maybe let's discuss this with the subs. Let's see what their opinions are on it and everything, and get your we can have a debate, discussion, back and forth comments. I I, I don't know. It's just I want to hear you guys' opinions on these three words. Uh, so that if you guys weren't paying attention to anything I said throughout this whole video, because sometimes I do check crap. Uh, the three words I mentioned were, you know, definitions of uh, scrubs, definition of frauds, and definition of salty, which, you know, in my opinion, or how I've seen it, the, the definitions have changed over time. It's still funny words, very, very funny words. I like it when uh, I watch streams and I see the words come up, because it's hilarious, trust me. But, um, yeah, guys, so we're coming up to the end of, um, coming up to the end of the video. Uh, like I said, I do apologise for not uploading one of these in three, four weeks, since university's been very, very busy. Um, next week, I'm not too sure if I'll upload one, actually next week will be a set of matches, first of five sets, look forward to them, and uh, that's that's pretty much it from your boy HDJ guys, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this commentary, if you did, leave a like, leave a comment, whatever, I'm not too, I'm not too fussed, and I will see you guys on next Friday evening commentary, so peace out YouTube.